Field Marshal Idi Amin Dada is a former Ugandan president. He came to power in 1971 and went on to rule the country with an iron fist. His eight-year presidency saw widespread killings and he was given the nickname the Butcher of Uganda. Not only were many people killed, even my own very close relatives were killed. My own brother, who was a personal manager in Nyanza Textiles, was killed. And very many friends of mine with whom I worked were killed. At this site, in Uganda's capital Kampala, people suspected of opposing Amin's rule were detained and severely tortured, and many were reportedly killed. People come from abroad to come here to see the torture chamber, but some of them, when they reach there, they feel sad, they don't want even to go inside. Being inside the former torture chamber within the Buganda palace gates behind me is haunting. The foul smell, the writings of despair on the walls written with blood and soil, a living testimony of President Idi Amin's wrath. With peace and security back in the country, Uganda is on its path to development. One of its fastest growing sectors is tourism. However, two operators say that though Amin was defeated in 1979, his dark history still haunts the country. If you tell anyone about Uganda, they still seem to go back towards our Idi Amin, you know. And this has to be changed. We have to try and improve our image. Um, people are afraid. They think when you come to Africa, you're coming into a war zone. That's not true. Campaigns to promote Uganda's attractiveness have started to yield. The country has recently been named a top tourist destination by global travel entities. Uganda has also started to package its violent past as a marketing tool for history tourists. But Uganda will have to shake off the negative image of its past if it intends to see visitor numbers increase. One way of doing that is to inform tourists how the country has changed since Idi Amin and promote why Uganda is still referred to as the Pearl of Africa. Michael Baleke, CGTN. Kampala, Uganda.